A fantastic and free AI image generator tool has just launched, offering the ability to create realistic, anime, and sketch style images. In this video, we will take an in-depth look at this new AI image generator. We will also discuss another free open source image generator that creates impressive images, seamlessly incorporating text within the images and producing perfect hands with a realistic style. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. So, without further ado, let's get started. PicLumen is a completely free AI image generator that produces stunning images. You can generate images from simple text prompts with different styles. Also, you can remove the background of complex images within a few seconds. Ready to try this free image generator? Click on the Launch App button and sign up for an account. Use your email and password to create an account. Here, you can explore the creations of other users. Right now, this tool is entirely free to use. However, it may introduce paid plans in the future. Click on the Create button to start using this tool. At the top, you will find the tool's settings. Under the Model section, you can see four available models. There are various aspect ratios to choose from in this menu. You can select between two generation modes, Quality and Fast. Here, you can choose the number of images generated per prompt. I recommend selecting four images per generation for better results. Let's try out some text prompts to generate images. I have pasted a simple prompt to create an image of a woman warrior with specific details. Let's select the realistic model. Click the Generate button and wait for two to three minutes. Here are the four images based on our prompt. This one looks perfect. You have different options to share and download the images. By clicking on this button, you can remove the background from the images. Here we have the final output. The only downside is that it also removed the sword, so it might take a bit of time to perfect. By clicking the Remix button, you can reuse your prompts to generate new images. Now, I will switch the model to Anime and click the Generate button. Here is the final output. While there are minor issues with the main object, the image looks great in terms of background and character design. And here are the other images generated from the same prompt. Let's change the aspect ratio to landscape and try another prompt. I have pasted a prompt text for an elderly woman. You can also add a reference image if you like. By clicking on this option, you can access settings to add a negative prompt. The default text looks fine to me. You can increase the guidance scale to generate results that are more closely aligned with your text prompts. Let's increase it a little bit. You can adjust the number of steps for better results, but I will stick with the default settings. Here, you have the seed option to generate consistent results based on a particular style. Click the Generate button and wait for a moment. And here, we have the output. These images look a bit childish, but the image style is perfectly executed. Here are some more results for the anime style. Let's try another prompt. Now, I will switch the model to sketch. Click the Generate button and wait for the process to complete. Here, you can see the estimated generation time. And here are the images. There are minor issues with some of the images, but you can see how perfectly it has generated the sketches. Here is another example of a sketch of a 3D model of a living room with furniture. These results look amazing. Let's try the Flux model. Paste your text prompt. I have pasted a prompt to generate an image of a floating island. Click the Generate button and wait for a while. Here are the images. These results look fantastic. Let's try another prompt. This time, I will generate a luminous style forest scene. And here, you can see the beautiful images. 
Let's try another prompt. Now, I will ask it to incorporate text within the images by pasting this text. Click the Generate button and let's see if it adds the text accurately. Here are the final images. While the text is added, it does not match the provided phrase perfectly. Let's try another text prompt. As you can see, the text is still not added correctly. Now let's explore its official open source website. Flux.1 is a new open source AI image generator that produces stunning results. This tool can perfectly render fingers and generate realistic human images. Although it has not officially launched yet, it has introduced paid and free open source models for you to try. The Pro model delivers high quality images but requires payment. The Dev model is a bit slower but generates better quality images. This model is free and open source, but you must run it locally. However, it is only for non-commercial use. The Schnell model is completely free and fast, but produces lower quality images. I found a free website where you can try this tool without any cost for a limited time. In this video, I will showcase some websites where you can try out various AI models for free. First up is Glyph, a completely free platform where you can explore all the Flux models. To get started, sign up for an account and click on the Build option. Now, click on the plus icon and choose the image generator. Let's paste a simple text prompt to see how it works. Here, you can see all the available models. You can even use the DAL E3 model. Let's start with the Pro model. Select the aspect ratio to the landscape. Increase the prompt guidance slightly. Now, click the Run button and wait for a moment. And here we have an amazing result. Look at how perfectly it's been generated. Let's try another text prompt, this time a longer one. Again, click the Run button and wait for the image to appear. Take a look at the final output. That's incredible. Now let's switch to the Dev model and hit Run. Here is the result, another great image. Let's generate an image using the Schnell model with a landscape aspect ratio. You can see the fast and stunning results from this model. So, which model do you think generated the best result? Comment down below. Let's now try generating images with text taglines. I have typed in a simple prompt and selected the Pro model with a landscape aspect ratio. Increase the prompt guidance a bit more, then click Run. Here is the image with beautiful text. Although the text is slightly blended, how perfectly was it generated? That looks awesome. Sometimes the model may not pick up the text tagline perfectly. If that happens, try switching models for better results. Now, let's generate some realistic images. I have pasted a simple text prompt. And here's the result. This looks natural and realistic. Let's try another prompt. Check out the image with a perfect hand composition. This site combines the Dev and Schnell models. Let's paste a text prompt to try it out. You can adjust the number of steps for better quality. Here, we have some filters to choose from. Let's increase the guidance scale slightly. Click the Run button and wait for a few seconds. Here is the final output. This generation looks great. Let's try another prompt. This time, I have pasted a detailed and lengthy prompt. And here is the amazing result. Let's try some prompts that include text. As you can see, it has already generated an image of a cat holding a card with the text perfectly added. Let's replace this cat with a dog and change the text. And here, you can see the text is perfectly added. That looks amazing. Let's try another prompt with different text taglines. 
and look at the final output. That looks incredible. Let's generate more realistic images. I have pasted a text prompt for a businesswoman. And here you have it. The perfect image of a woman with correctly rendered hands. Let's try another prompt for realistic human images. As you can see, the results are impressive. You can also try this model on hugging face. The process is the same as I described earlier. Take advantage of these free tools to generate amazing images. So, what do you think about these new tools? Please share your thoughts in the comments. That's all for this video. Be sure to like and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you soon with more exciting content.